Now we're going to start talking about the auto snap and auto track features within AutoCAD. Uh, auto snap is basically when you have your line selected or circle or arc or some other feature, you have your object snap section turned on, and when you go to hover over something, it gives you a couple pieces of information. First, you have a symbol, which designates the type of object snap you have and the location. You have the tool tip, which is the little box that tells you and reminds you what that symbol means, if it's midpoint or endpoint or nearest. And you have the magnet, which locks the cursor to that particular location if you're just close to it. So here my cursor is not on the line, but it's still magnetized to the line. Uh, we also have the cool option of flipping through them using the tab key. So here I might have midpoint selection where I really wanted the nearest. Or maybe I wanted one of these endpoints. Or maybe I wanted it to intersect with something. By using tab, you can cycle through those. We're going to also talk about the object snap tracking. Switch that button to on. Uh, again, select something like line. And here we'll notice if we hover over a point like this top corner, which you should be doing right now, and move straight up, it'll track that point all the way up to the next intersection or wherever we may want to start drawing. Uh, to turn that off, you hover back over that same point and it turns off. We actually want it to turn on. We want it to snap to this location. And here I want it perpendicular with the horizontal line below it. go ahead and click enter and let's go ahead and create that first view so we have this top line or this uh, vertical line drawn we're gonna put in a couple more features so let's use the offset toolbar and we'll leave it at one inch I believe that's the last thing we had it set for we're gonna offset both of these horizontal lines by one inch and I want to draw in a circle that's going to be right in the middle of that and so one of the things that our running object snap does not have is the snap from option we still need the toolbar for that so let's use the snap from toolbar we'll click on this bottom corner endpoint type in your at symbol for a relative coordinate we want it to go backwards uh, one or I'm sorry backwards 2.25 and up 1.5 instead of typing in a radius I can just have it be perpendicular with this line here and that's perfect that's just what we want we're also going to add in the two edges and again we're going to do this using our snap from option so we have line selected we have snap from let's choose the bottom corner first we're going to go backwards 1.75 so type in your at symbol type in negative 1.75 comma and uh, 0 in the y direction and click enter now what we want it to snap up 0.25 from this corner so again we can do snap from we can reference this corner again, type in uh, 0 in the x direction, and 0.25 in the y direction. And it does help a lot if uh, you type in your at symbol first. Let's go snap from, click on that corner, type in your at symbol first, 0 in the x direction, 0.25 in the y direction click enter it's drawn your line for you do the same thing on the top side Wow, this is just not working for me today. 
let's try this one more time. I'm clicking on line. I'm using my uh, my tracking to go right up to where I want on this vertical line here. Or this horizontal line, I'm sorry. And then I want to type in from this corner at zero comma negative point two five there we go it should look symmetrical we're gonna use our trim features the easiest way to use trim is you right click you click on anything you want to get rid of and it magically goes away for you and this is almost what we want we're gonna use the offset feature again on this inside piece here we want to offset the uh, <laughs> the vertical edge by 0.25 and the two horizontal edges by a half inch so let's type in the uh, half inch first we'll go up a half inch down a half inch spacebar to exit spacebar to restart offset 0.25 for this offset click on the vertical line on the back edge here come in trim it back to what it's supposed to look like we're getting rid of this corner in this corner we're keeping all the other features and because these are no longer attached to anything this line oop, this line this line this line we have to use delete or erase to get rid of those because those are no longer line segments uh, let's go on to the next tutorial